yet I do not absolve myself of blame. The human soul is certainly incites to evil, unless my Lord do bestow his mercy. But surely my Lord is oft forgiving, most merciful. So the king said, Bring him unto me, I will take him specially to serve about my own person. Therefore when he had spoken to him, he said, Be assured this day thou art of high standing with us, invested with all trust. Joseph said, Set me over the storehouses of the land. I am a good keeper, knowledgeable. Thus did we give established power to Joseph in the land, to take possession therein as, when, or where he pleased. We bestow of our mercy on whom we please, and we suffer not to be lost the reward of those who do good. But verily the reward of the hereafter is the best, for those who believe and are constant in righteousness. Then came Joseph's brethren. They entered his presence, and he knew them, but they knew him not. And when he had furnished them forth with provisions suitable for them, he said, Bring unto me a brother ye have, of the same father as yourselves, but a different mother. See ye not that I pay out full measure, and that I do provide the best hospitality? Now if ye bring him not to me, ye shall have no measure of corn from me, nor shall ye even come near me. They said, We shall try to win him from his father, Indeed, we shall do it. And Joseph told his servants to put their stock in trade, which they had bartered, into their saddlebags, so they should know it only when they returned to their people, in order that they might come back. Now when they returned to their father, they said, O oh, our father, no more measure of grain shall we get unless we take our brother. So send our brother with us, that we may get our measure, and we will indeed take every care of him. He said, Shall I trust you with him with any result other than when I trusted you with his brother aforetime? But Allah is the best to take care of him, and he is the most merciful of those who show mercy. Then when they opened their baggage, they found their stock in trade had been returned to them. They said, O oh, our father, what more can we desire? This our stock in trade has been returned to us, so we shall get more food for our family. We shall take care of our brother and add at the same time a full camel's load of grain to our provisions. This is but a small quantity. Jacob said, Never will I send him with you until ye swear a solemn oath to me, in Allah's name, that ye will be sure to bring him back to me, unless ye are yourselves hemmed in and made powerless. And when they had sworn their solemn oath, he said, Over all that we say, be Allah the witness and guardian.
Further he said, O my sons, enter not all by one gate, enter ye by different gates. Not that I can profit you aught against Allah with my advice. None can command except Allah. On him do I put my trust, and let all that trust put their trust on him. And when they entered in the manner their father had enjoined, it did not profit them in the least against the plan of Allah. It served only to satisfy Jacob's heartfelt desire. For he was, by our instruction, full of knowledge and experience. But most men know not. Now when they came into Joseph's presence, he received his full brother to stay with him. He said to him, Behold, I am thy own brother, so grieve not at aught of their doings. At length, when he had furnished them forth with provisions suitable for them, he put the drinking cup into his brother's saddlebag, then shouted out to Crier, O ye in the caravan, behold, ye are thieves without doubt. They said, turning towards them, What is it that ye miss? They said, We miss the great beaker of the king. For him who produces it is the reward of a camel load. I will be bound by it. The brothers said, By Allah, well ye know that we came not to make mischief in the land. And we are no thieves. The Egyptian said, What then shall be the penalty of this if ye are proved to have lied? They said, The penalty should be that he in whose saddlebag it is found should be held as bondman to atone for the crime. Thus it is we punish the wrongdoers. So he began the search with their baggage. Before he came to the baggage of his brother, at length he brought it out of his brother's baggage. Thus did we plan for Joseph. He could not take his brother by the law of the king except that Allah willed it so. We raise to degrees of wisdom whom we please but over all endued with knowledge is one, the all-knowing. They said, If he steals, there was a brother of his who did steal before him. But these things did Joseph keep locked in his heart, revealing not the secrets to them. He simply said to himself, Ye are the worst situated, and Allah knoweth best the truth of what ye assert. They said, O exalted one, behold, he has a father aged and venerable, who will grieve for him. So take one of us in his place, for we see that thou art gracious in doing good.
he said, Allah forbids that we take other than him with whom we found our property. Indeed, if we did so, we should be acting wrongly. Now when they saw no hope of his yielding, they held a conference in private. The leader among them said, Know ye not that your father did take an oath from you in Allah's name? And how before this ye did fail in your duty with Joseph? Therefore will I not leave this land until my father permits me, or Allah judges for me and he is the best to judge. Turn ye back to your father and say, O our father, behold, thy son committed theft. We bear witness only to what we know, and we could not well guard against the unseen. Ask at the town where we have been, and the caravan in which we returned, and you will find we are indeed telling the truth. Jacob said, Nay, but ye have yourselves contrived a story good enough for you. So patience is most fitting for me. Maybe Allah will bring them back all to me in the end. For he is indeed full of knowledge and wisdom. And he turned away from them and said, how great is my grief for Joseph! And his eyes became white with sorrow, and he was suppressed with silent sorrow. They said, By Allah, never wilt thou cease to remember Joseph until thou reach the last extremity of illness, or until thou die. He said, I only complain of my distraction and anguish to Allah, and I know from Allah that which ye know not. O my sons, go ye and inquire about Joseph and his brother, and never give up hope of Allah's soothing mercy. Truly no one despairs of Allah's soothing mercy, except those who have no faith. Then, when they came back into Joseph's presence, they said, O exalted one, distress has seized us and our family. We have now brought but scanty capital. So pay us full measure, we pray thee, and treat it as charity to us, for Allah doth reward the charitable. He said, Know ye how ye dealt with Joseph and his brother, not knowing what ye were doing? They said, Art thou indeed Joseph? He said, I am Joseph, and this is my brother. Allah has indeed been gracious to us all. Behold, he that is righteous and patient, never will Allah suffer the reward to be lost of those who do right. They said, By Allah, 
Indeed, has Allah preferred thee above us, and we certainly have been guilty of sin. He said, This day let no reproach be cast on you. Allah will forgive you, and He is the most merciful of those who show mercy. Go with this my shirt, and cast it over the face of my father. He will come to see clearly. Then come ye here to me together with all your family. When the caravan left Egypt, their father said, I do indeed sense the presence of Joseph. Nay, think me not a dotard. They said, By Allah, truly thou art in thine old wandering illusion. Then when the bearer of the good news came, he cast the shirt over his face, and he forthwith regained clear sight. He said, Did I not say to you, I know from Allah that which ye know not? They said, O our father, ask for us forgiveness for our sins, for we were truly at fault. He said, Soon will I ask my Lord for forgiveness for you, for he is indeed oft forgiving, most merciful. Then, when they entered the presence of Joseph, he provided a home for his parents with himself, and said, Enter ye Egypt, all in safety, if it please Allah. And he raised his parents high on the throne, and they fell down in prostration, all before him. He said, O oh, my father, this is the fulfilment of my vision of old. Allah hath made it come true. He was indeed good to me when he took me out of prison and brought you all here out of the desert. Even after Satan had sown enmity between me and my brothers. Verily, my Lord is gracious to whom he wills, for verily he is full of knowledge and wisdom. O oh my Lord, thou hast indeed bestowed on me some power and taught me something of the interpretation of dreams and events. O thou creator of the heavens and the earth, thou art my protector in this world and in the hereafter. Take thou my soul at depth as one submitting to thy will as a Muslim, and unite me with the righteous. Such is one of the stories of what happened unseen, which we reveal by inspiration unto thee. Nor wast thou present with them then when they concerted their plans together in the process of weaving their plots. Yet no faith will the greater part of mankind have, however ardently thou dost desire it. And no reward dost thou ask of them for this. It is no less than a message for all creatures. And how many signs in the heavens and the earth do they pass by? Yet they turn their faces away from them.
and most of them believe not in Allah without associating other as partners with him. Do they then feel secure from the coming against them of the covering of the veil of the wrath of Allah? Or of the coming against them of the final hour all of a sudden while they perceive not? Say thou, This is my way. I do invite unto Allah with certain knowledge. I and whoever follows me. Glory to Allah, and never will I join gods with Allah. Nor did we send before thee messengers any but men, whom we did inspire, men from the people of the towns. Do they not travel through the earth and see what was the end of those before them? But the home of the hereafter is best for those who do right. Will ye not then understand? Respite will be granted until, when the messengers give up hope of their people, and come to think that they were treated as liars, there reaches them our help, and those whom we will are delivered into safety. But never will be warded off our punishment from those who are in sin. There is, in their stories, instruction for men endued with understanding. It is not a tale invented, but a confirmation of what went before it, a detailed exposition of all things, and a guide and a mercy to any such as believe.